मैं आपको बताऊंगा अपने पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस से मैं कुवैत सऊदीया और बहरीन में रह चुका हूं तो ताकि आपको आइडिया हो जाए कि कौन सा कंट्री बेहतर है विच कंट्री इज बेस्ट अमंग कुवैत बहरीन एंड सऊदीया एंड आई एम गोइंग टू मेक दिस वीडियो इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज इट्स रेरी हार्ड टू राइट सब लेटर ऑन सो आई लिव फिफ्टीन ईयर्स इन कुवैत बिकॉज आई बोर्न इन कुवैत एंड देन आई मूव सऊदिया आई लिव फोर ईयर्स इन सऊदिया एंड नाउ आई एम लिविंग ऑलमोस्ट फोर ईयर्स इन बहरीन सो इफ यू कंपेयर ला वाइज कुवैत इज वेरी रिजिड बिकॉज दे हैव वेरी रिजिड लॉज टूवर्ड्स ट्रैफिक लाइसेंसिंग वीजा रेजिडेंसी हॉस्पिटल्स सो ओवरऑल इट्स वेरी रिजिड फॉर अ पर्सन लिविंग फैमिली इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग योर फैमिली एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लिव एंड मूव ऑन विद फैमिली इन कुवैत इट्स रियली हार्ड पीपल लिविंग इन कुवैत दे वॉन्ट टू मूव आउट फ्राम कुवैत एंड प्लानिंग टू रिलोकेट टू समवेयर एल्स सिमिलरली इन सऊदी अरेबिया इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू मूव एंड लिव विद फैमिली नॉ डे इज इट वॉज वैन आई वॉज लिविंग इट वॉज वेरी रिजिड एंड नाउ डे इज इट्स मोर डिफिकल्ट फॉर एक्सपायर टू लिव विद फैमिली इन सऊदी अरेबिया बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स वेरी रिजिड टूवर्ड्स दी ट्रैफिक लॉज एंड रेजिडेंसी लॉज एंड ऑल्सो गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स आर रियली रिजिड इन इफ यू विजिट एनी गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट इन कुवैत और सऊदी अरेबिया दे ट्रीटमेंट टूवर्ड्स एक्सपायर्स इज रियली बैड they treat you like garbage so that's why i i is is my personal experience that's why i'm explaining that i, I didn't felt felt uh, really good when i used to visit that department because the way of speaking and they are treating experts is really bad the second thing is uh, if you are applying for visas in kuwait every one year you need to renew visa for your family then you need to pay for uh, 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 what you call it uh, uh, residency fees and insurance fees and id card fees uh, yearly while in uh, saudi arabia it's very hard to get visa even because if your all documentation on your degree or your visa and your passport names your name is not accurate or you have felt spelling mistakes or any uh, your name different on degree and different on uh, passport you will not get a family visa the documentation required and degrees must for family visa in saudi arabia so also the there is payments that if you renew your visa then you will have to pay for family also before it was free if your visa is renewed your family visa dependent visa will be free but they put the fees uh, because of saudiization in 2015 or 14 and after that many expats left the country that's why the, the real estate state also dropped so uh, saudi arabia uh, for family perspective family visa perspective is very rigid and their department government departments also very rigid and laws traffic laws also very rigid same in uh, uh, kuwait if you want to get a license it's going to be very hard for you to get a license there because conditions are very tough to get a license there so the way you can get a traffic license very easily for a car but uh, driving of people is very uh, worst because there is no transportation system so people are driving newly people are getting uh, license after little training and they are just hitting around uh, there are lots of accidents so so tra transportation system there is uh, no ex not existed in anymore uh, in uh, saudi i was living in jeddah and in kuwait uh, there is good transportation system as compared to saudi they have three companies of transportation of buses which uh, uh, you will find every 5 minutes in every bus stop or 15 minutes but in bahrain you have also transportation system on one company of government but you find it's really half of hour you have to wait for a bus to arrive on your stop and you can uh, reach your destination but comparatively transportation system is better uh, than saudia in kuwait and bahrain and kuwait is the best residency point of view bahrain is the best as compared to kuwait and saudia because their residency laws are really tough bahrain is very lenient towards the residency laws i have three wives living with me in bahrain and i made a id card it's for 5 years one time cost 5 years you have to pay and residency renewal is after 2 years once my residency is renewed by my company so uh, same uh, i can pay 100 vd to company and 2 years visa valid for this one so it's cost saving where say uh, what amount i'm paying here for 2 years for my dependents it has to be paid one year in kuwait and so this is more than that after saudiization i don't know maybe they have removed or lessened the amount now but it was when i was living it was very high so lots of experts uh, left uh, send their families home because bahrain is a tourist country so you will find really uh, 
good behavior of government department towards experts if you have to solve your problems i have been to police station and government departments in bahrain and kuwait and saudi so i find comparatively better environment of government departments and their function as compared to kuwait and uh, kuwait and saudi if you talk about cost of living like uh, rents uh, bahrain and kuwait is uh, almost same there is no much big dif bigger difference between kuwait and bahrain in renting uh but in saudi you will find very cheap rent there is cost of accommodation is very low after saudiization is become more low because many expats left that time so cost of living in saudi arabia let's say you are living in a center uh of jeddah i was living so it will be like 150 bd you can find a very good flat with two ba bedrooms hall kitchen bathroom while you will in bahrain and kuwait you will find only one studio with uh, bathroom and kitchen so a studio cost in bahrain and kuwait is the cost of two bedroom uh, flat uh, room and hall kitchen bathroom in saudi arabia if you talk about electricity yeah electricity in kuwait was really free you have to pay every one year after one year you will pay some cost uh, of fixed amount of electricity and telephone bill while in saudi arabia you will pay monthly electricity bill still kuwait and saudi arabia is much cheaper than bahrain bahrain electricity is very high if you are living in an apartment which is bahraini has created they have 1 meter of their house so they have subsidy from government so that those rent will be included including electricity and it will be low so you can manage that electricity in that way but if you are living in separate flat you are taking or renting yourself and you have to have electricity on your name so that cost you're going to go one ac 50 bd or 2 3 ac 100 bd above monthly you will pay while in saudi arabia if three flats are running two three acs together three apartments in a building their rent is their electricity is coming around 50 50 60 70 bd you know can you imagine the difference between bahrain and uh, saudi electricity three apartments cost or two three acs are running in each flat that cost is coming there in saudi arabia around 60 70 bd and bahrain one apartment three acs 100 bd it will cross with water and electricity so this much expensive in bahrain uh, electricity and water so this is the only drawback in bahrain that the accommodation and electricity is expensive and kuwait also the accommodation was expensive similar to bahrain but electricity is cheaper in kuwait as compared to bahrain but saudi is the cheapest if you are thinking point of view you are thinking to live in a saudi from the accommodation perspective and cost of living perspective yeah it's saudi is the cheapest in kuwait uh, among kuwait and uh, between kuwait and bahrain uh, the best food so far i have eaten in kuwait it uh, kuwait has variety of food you will like and taste the taste of Arabic food in Kuwait and variety of food you will find even from Pakistani restaurant you will find uh, amazing food in Kuwait but in Saudi there are yes Pakistani and Arabic food available but what taste you find in Kuwait you will not find and the variety of food in Saudi and uh, Bahrain but there is Pakistani community a lot Pakistani community in uh, Saudi so you will find really good restaurants of Pakistani food you will find and Arabic food as well which is specific Arabic uh, food related to Saudi culture like especially rice based food you will find really tasty in Saudi Arabia but other than that um, uh, different variety or different cultural food from different culture you will find only in Kuwait Bahrain is very small country so you will not find much Uh, variety of food or that quality of food or quality of restaurants what is in saudi and kuwait so this is another drawback of bahrain that uh, from food perspective yeah uh, there are not many restaurants because there is hardly any few shopping malls uh, if you talk about entertainment yeah kuwait is one of the best country among three Uh, there is lots of entertainment and lots of shopping malls lots of place to visit lots of place to enjoy so kuwait has lots of places you, you can for hang out for family while in saudi arabia from historical point of view yeah it's one of the good places you can visit and from islamic perspective religious perspective yeah you can visit medina and makkah and you can go historical places uh, museums and lots of places are like that so and some uh, hilly areas so for tourism there are in saudi arabia so you can travel around it's because saudi is very huge but if you but if you are looking for uh, really entertainment that's not there it's hardly few parks are there for people to entertain and now saudi edition going on and their vision revolutionized they have changed their way now so maybe in coming future saudi will have lots of entertainment but my living experience among three countries uh, i believe uh, bahrain is one of the best from uh, family perspective if you are living with the family uh, law wise uh, the it's not rigid as compared to kuwait and saudi arabia if you talk about medical yeah medical cost uh, is same in kuwait and bahrain 
and in Saudi Arabia but Saudi Arabia has one advantage if you are working there there is from government it's compulsory for every employee and their family to have a medical insurance private so by law company has to give you insurance and if your family is living under you as an independent so you have to get the insurance private because government is only for Saudi Arabian uh, people so you cannot go in government hospitals in Kuwait you can visit the government hospitals but there is some amount they have put in place and Kuwait there is also no private insurance but some companies on the, on their discretion they are giving you medical insurance same in Bahrain also our company was not giving insurance before now private insurance they're giving for self only same in Kuwait also self only so it's company to company they give private insurance or no it is their choice compulsory you you don't have but in Bahrain you have compulsory insurance from company for government hospitals so my recommendation will be if you want to live with a family the best place to live between the among these three countries is uh, Bahrain Bahrain is one of the best uh, places law wise uh, very peaceful uh, from residency and visas perspective ikama perspective no headache it's very nice very peaceful i have three wives living with me family will living with me here it's very great country it's small country uh, if you want to go alone and live alone there yeah you can have opportunities there for work in kuwait and saudi arabia but remember saudi arabia in retail sector whatever jobs related to customer service no more for expats expats cannot work anymore in saudi arabia so be careful if you are going to uh, look for a job related to customer service or anything where you have interaction with the customer in Saudi Arabia you're not gonna get a job so don't get into it even someone is offering in Kuwait yeah you have lots of opportunities of jobs if you are want to move around different jobs and you want to relocate to another job another company it's easier as compared in Bahrain Bahrain is very small country if you come to uh, uh, and find one job in a company it's hard to relocate to another company or move to another company or because it's a very small country and less vacancies and opportunities because majority of vacancies are filled for job opportunity point of view yeah Kuwait and Saudi is the bigger market so if you were looking for a job and you want to work and you want to move around different companies then best choice will be Kuwait or Saudi Arabia not even Saudi Arabia the best choice will be Kuwait then Saudi Arabia and then Bahrain but if you want a peace and you want a living life uh, leniency between among laws and you are living for a family you have to choose the Bahrain one of the barrier in living life is for expat is the any country's law for uh, natives it's not a big issue but for expats the biggest problem is always the laws and regulations which they in place for the expat so and visas and residency which all every expat have to go through so for my perspective family perspective the Bahrain is one of the best country among these three countries so if you are planning to work and live with your family I prefer to live in uh, within the Bahrain so region wise the weather climate almost similar it's not a big difference I have been to different countries and people are talking about Bahraini people talk working in Bahrain they talk about oh there is lots of money in Kuwait Kuwait people working there expat they think oh so they have too much money people are in peace People in Saudi, they think, oh, no, people are earning more in Kuwait than Bahrain. This is totally stupid thinking. Whoever established, any person who is established in Kuwait, in Saudi or in Bahrain, he gonna talk about, yeah, it's one of the best place to live. If one person is not established, he's just running around and he's, he has difficult time living in that country, even in Kuwait or Bahrain or anywhere, he, he, is, he is in difficulty. He is not gonna like it. He is just suffering. So if one person is a labor, he is labor in Bahrain, labor in Saudi, labor in uh, uh, Kuwait. So their situation is worst, same. So if you are working, you have a good job, either in Kuwait, either in Bahrain or either in Saudi Arabia, it's gonna be, you're gonna live a good life. So it's just wrong misconception people have. So this currency is better, this currency is better, you're earning more there, you're earning more there. It's just totally nonsense. So I am talking about if you want leniency by law and behavior in government sectors how they treat people whatever anything relation have something to do with the expats Bahrain is the one of the best country among these three countries Kuwait and Saudi is very rigid towards expat laws so towards expat laws Bahrain is the very nice country if you really willing to uh, live with the family I will recommend Bahrain <music>